We are in a town called Mielnik. It's uh, in Czech Republic. And Czech Republic is kind of in the heart of Europe. What it's known for is a rich, rich history of uh, Inquisition, um, Holocaust, and all these bad things that happened. Uh, oh, they all happen here in Europe. And in Czech Republic also, you can see a lot of uh, Catholic churches uh, that are very famous for dating back to 1400s, even 13 and 1200s. So we are talking about really, really uh, history far back. I'm standing here in Mielnik in front of a church called uh, Church of St. Peter and Paul. What's important about this church is that under the altar of this church are stacked about 20,000 human, human uh, bones and skulls. Uh, the person who is over this uh, project here is a uh, Jesuit. What I like about this church is the Gothic style of it, of the building. And you can see Gothic styles here all over this old town of Mielnik. But um, kind of reminds me of Jesus' uh, words that he said to Pharisees, that they are full, they're beautiful, uh, uh, they're like graves. They are beautiful on the outside washed and white on the outside but inside are full of rotting bones or dead man's bones and this is what uh, kind of this particular scripture came to my mind when uh, walking around these churches that contain thousands tens of thousands of human skulls and bones so here we are uh, this is the entrance to to that uh, church in Mielnik and the name of the Jesuit, who is actually over this project, is uh, Jindrich Matiega. Just in Kostnice, uh, we're going to show you pictures of another church in Kostnice, uh, where are about 40 to 70 thousands of humans, bones and skulls arranged into different things like chandelier. Um, there are all over the church, the entire sanctuary is full of bones. What it reminds me of is when Jesus spoke to Pharisees and he said uh, that they are beautiful on the outside, like beautiful whitewashed graves, but on the inside they are full of dead man's bones. To me, this is a sign of who has a Pharisaic spirit today. Who are these Pharisees today? Well. It is the Catholic Church and its priesthood, hierarchy of Catholic Church. You can even see they have stacked up literal human bones and skulls under their altars where they perform Catholic masses. So Jesus, when he spoke to Pharisees, there was like a future prophecy that will continue throughout the ages until very much today. And the proof of it is what you just saw in this church and in Kostnice and many, many other churches in, throughout the Europe. There are thousands of churches that contain those dead uh, bones and, and skulls arranged. Now, uh, Catholic Church seems to be completely in love with death. They, they seem to worship death. You can see pictures of Jesuits here who hold a skull or they have a Bible on the skull. You can see how this Pope or, or Cardinal is holding up a uh, head of a dead man's skull and worshiping it. So uh, it's just really bizarre. Why would anybody do this? When Jesus came, he said he came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. But they seem to be preoccupied with death and love death and worship where death is.